<laughs> Hello, you two. This is the Nerdy Tribunal. I'm Derek. Joined with me is Tom, Victor, and Ernest, as usual. Uh, today, we're going to talk about um, the Hulu TV series, Marvel's The Runaways. It just concluded, I believe, la uh, last Friday? No. Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday last, last Tuesday. Sorry, I can get all the days mixed up. Um, last Tuesday. And we're just going to talk a bit about it. So, uh, there might be spoilers. Most of our discussions are kind of like not scripted or go watch it. Like so, like so. Or don't just we might spoiler. spoil this, but I kind of don't care. Um, <laughs> so like just so, uh, for context, Tom and Tom hasn't watched it yet. Shame. Uh, Shame. Ernest is almost done. I'm. I'm. I'm actually, I'm Shame. on the third He's... episode. That's not almost done. <laughs> <laughs> what? I thought you said. <laughs> I'm okay, yeah, buddy. Man. Buddy said that like, oh, like I'm at the part where they're like at this part, right in the in the TV show. Yeah, I'm like, okay, I'm like, this so I'm like thinking I, I my brain. I was confused. Yeah, so I'm in my brain like, okay, that should be at like near the end or like he's That's almost your done. Your fault for thinking it's further. Fine, fair enough. <laughs> no, right? I apologize for assuming Ernest can explain things in English. Shame, shame. Um, my name is Derek. Shame. So we're just gonna talk a bit about it. So me and Victor have watched all of it. Uh, sorry, Victor and I have watched all of it. These two haven't. Um, I, I'm just going to start off with like I, I thoroughly enjoyed the the show itself. It was a very, um, it was a really good show. It's kind of cross. It's like I'm I'm actually saying I watched Riverdale. I'm sorry, I watched Riverdale. I enjoyed it. It was kind of those dirty little secrets, those dirty little secrets, those yeah. shameful the secrets. Secret, that you keep it that way. Yeah, I actually kept it in there. Anyways, no, and I enjoyed it because it's one of those like it's one of those teen like dramas that are like the tv ones like, like pretty little liars like it felt like rhino waste was a great mix between something like that and a superhero tv show so it's like a well done teen drama with superheroes yeah it's actually quite well done because like i don't know how it is to be a teen these day age and it's literally like oh okay, crap like 20 shitty. years like jesus it's like maybe 15 20 years out it's hard to understand you eat uh detergent <laughs> uh, you plank and uh what you you have oh, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's teenagers now yeah yeah that's I'm, what they do now yeah okay so so, so you dab like so you're wondering when ways to, does that do any of that <laughs> uh so maybe i got it all wrong but anyways the reason i like this so much is just like it was a bit it was very modern it was a, like it had a very modern feel because these kids are of this age and they kind of kind of incorporated that and I know nothing about the Runaways, like literally, and from the story, I just watch it strictly because if you guys were watching it, Victor said, "Go watch it; it's really good." I'm like, okay, um, and I did, I did enjoy it a lot. So, I, like for me, I think the the, the the there's two things really good about it. It's relatable, even if you're a little older, you can see. You, you gotta, <laughs> we're not a little bit older, okay? Shut but, up. Okay? Understood. Understood. Uh, understood. We, are, we all God, went through that teenage boomers. phase, right? Yeah. So, and the second part I liked the most was usually. You, my wife Janet doesn't really watch most of these series with me. Nick she, you know, it's actually kind of funny if you watch Runaways. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, she actually sat there and enjoyed the show with me the entire way. Yeah. It was something that we both watched together. Where a lot of other ones, she wasn't really enjoying it. And I really liked how the kids were like, because sometimes like these, the kids were good actors. Like I think they were all quite good. And like when I was watching it, I, I it's like I related to them. I enjoy. I like them a lot. I like. I really liked them a lot as characters, as actors, and the relationships they had with each other. I liked them all. Like on, that was the cool part. On top of that, I would like to give major props to whoever casted them. Spot on. Like if you look of, at the comic book, it's spot on. Yeah. yeah, I haven't watched it, but I've seen photos of the characters. I've seen uh, just even how they dress. Yeah. And it's very, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's very it similar to the comics. Yeah. And so it's, I like, wow. so I was happy about that. Obviously I haven't watched it, so I don't know exactly if they're um, close to the comics. Is the act um, like, actually very close. Are, are they very, like, close. very so, loyal so, to So their characters are like, the Victor, are the characters kind of like... Yeah, powers are pretty much spot on. Yeah. Uh, how they act. Yeah, like the way, like the mannerisms yeah. and like, their attitude yeah, and stuff. Right? Exactly. But uh, yeah, they got all the powers down. They got mannerisms down, the looks down, and I like the way they kind of incorporated the old storyline from the comics to mo and modernize it now. Yeah, because before it because um, it's an older comic. Alex it's, Walter. There Alex. you go. But in the original comic books, it um, the pride gathers together to basically make sacrifices to to the Giborum. 
mm-hmm. which is what uh, the religion um, Carolina, the Carolina's mom and dad kind of runs. Uh, right? The deans, the deans yeah. runs, right? So I like how they kind of brought that into as a cover up. Because instead of making it kind of a little more far-fetched, it made it a little more realistic. Something that you can actually not always say the word relate to, but you've seen in like a popular culture where you have religions that appear as cultists or... <laughs> Evangelistic. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, like, you know, like the, those sort of things, right? Like, and like, okay, we can understand this. We've seen it in the news. We've heard of it in history. So that was kind of cool that it kind of drew it in. So it's like, it's almost like this, this was real, all very real mm-hmm. and plausible. But it's right? stuff you might see on the news. Yeah. So wait, Ernest, you're like a couple episodes in, right? Like, how do you feel at this point? Like, do you, like, you just, are you, as a regular TV show, is this like, do you find like, is it suspenseful or is it like, just like, okay, it's pretty normal? I think it's, it's, I like it because it's really similar to Stranger Things. Okay. It's, they, sh- they don't really tell you what's going on in the beginning. Mm-hmm. And then they slowly progress to the point where then you know everything at the yeah, end. Yeah, there's too many. So I'm, I'm only in the third episode. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. But right now, I'm just still like, well, of course, now you said it about the sacrifice thing. Now I know. But like, yeah. but it's, like if you were if you were not to tell Oops. me about anything, then I would not even know what's going on. Yeah. Like, and you like these, that. Why, like, why are those, like, why is the first lady that was trapped or they put her in the, that pot thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on there? Yeah, what's yeah, going yeah. on? Like, I have no idea. It's and not. And, and, and they were mourning for somebody, which I still have kind of no clue why Fair they're enough. mourning Fair enough. and why are they dysfunctional and then yeah. now why they want to get back together and, yeah. and things like that, right? So it's a lot of questions as each episode progresses. Yeah. And it I feel that's... Answered. Yeah, and it gets answered. So it's similar to Stranger Things and Stranger Things like that is why they're yeah. successful as Okay, because well, right? uh, it's interesting because me and Victor sat there and watched basically all of it, right? Like, and you're halfway through and I can't remember why... Sometimes, like when you're, because when you're at the end of the things, like, oh, I loved all of it. I loved blah, 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 like this and this. But when you're like halfway through, I really don't think about why I like it, right? And it's, it's, you're right. That's exactly like there's a, the cliffhangers are really good, right? Yeah. Like it's like, oh man, what's I want to know the answer to they, this. They ended at a good part where you're like, oh man, I can't wait till the next episode. Kind of yeah, and you want answers, happens, right? right? So I think that's the why I think, and they did a really good job of not providing you yeah. answers and then providing it to you when the time was right. Yeah. Now I know the answer to this, yeah. but like, would you? Would would it be safe to say like season two isn't like an automatic? I think they announced it. it, 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 it but it's like it's it's so good that it's worth season two, maybe season yeah. three. It definitely is yeah. because. Oh, should I spoil it? Just spoil it. Just cliffhanger. Cliffhanger. It, it's like, not, not like, even about the cliffhangers because yeah. some shows, even with a good cliffhanger, it's not good enough where. Season two or three. I think the best matter. the best way to explain it is it. the story now begins in season two. Yeah. Yeah. The conflict does not end. Yeah. yeah. Conflict does end, and the story now begins at season two. Yeah. Everything you watch in the first season of Runaways is a build up. Yeah. It's like the build, like the origin story, right? And now that was a prelude to now Marvel's The Runaways. Yeah, so I think that's the cool part. And see, and I'm very excited to see how well, how good of a job they're going to do based off the current hype. Because a lot of times season ones of TV shows don't like. They're not great because budget's an issue, filming's an issue, acting, like there might be new actors or like just developing the characters is an issue. And then you get in the season two and things get way better because budget increases. People now understand the character. There's better writing, right? Like, yeah. So I'm very excited to see if season two will hold, keep up this kind of flow and then kind of amp up to what... Because I, I do a little bit of reading on some of the characters. I really don't like read into them. And some of them seem like like they're very super... Like, sorry, like comic book E, like like they do comic like superhero things yeah right like i because the first thing was more or less grounded on earth and with real people and kids and with a little bit of like obviously some like superhero stuff right or comic book stuff i'm very interested and in hoping that that they can keep it like grounded like that but also like throw in these big comic book moments where like they, they use their powers or like they get cool gear and stuff like that, right? Like I'm very I'm hoping that would happen, but it's a, a bit of a hard balance. So you either go full off, you go full end of the spectrum, or you go in the opposite end of that same spectrum, right? So I think they built it good enough that you can have a really solid s- second season, yeah, and maybe a third, yeah, depending on how they want to draw the storyline and whatnot. Yeah, but the first season laid all the groundwork so there's you can't really go back and be like oh they left it this doesn't make sense yeah this doesn't make sense but they left enough like oh i want to find out more about this and that so because yeah, I, I know there's a lot of shows out there where 
season one's really good where you go, hey, because it went all in, right? Yeah, but then you look back and you go, it actually really doesn't need a season two, and some, sh- uh, so some shows are like that. Yeah. Heroes. And, yeah. <laughs> It was really good example. Yeah. But see, uh, that's that's yeah. the thing about this one because they 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 went all in. Yeah, at the same time, they didn't go all in. No, they didn't go all in they, at all. I, I felt there's so much more they can do. Oh, they didn't like they yeah. didn't show the hand. They just showed two cards and like here. Yeah, all in. Yeah, you call or not? Yeah, like, I'll call just yeah. to see the rest of it. Yeah, I just right. want I want to see like I can't. I'm very excited to see where it goes, and I'm very excited to, for you guys to actually finish it and see how you guys feel about it because like, like I've watched a lot of TV shows like recently and. Like this is one of the good ones, and I like I couldn't figure out why until Ernest kind of just brought it up. I was like, oh, like why do I like this much? Like, this, like the acting is good, not like stellar, right? Like we don't, it's not like Westworld kind of like acting, whereas that was just. Oh, it's, it's not. These are uh, really established uh, actors. Right? Yeah, not yet, right? Like, yeah, so. but then like that's the thing. Like, why do I like it so much? It's just a good combination of storytelling, characters, and everything. It's like I really like the characters. Right, like I, I don't want to get into this, but like I had a complaint about the Marvels the Gifted, right? Like where the characters I didn't like any of them, right? Whereas like if they die, you're like sweet. Yeah, Thank no, you. I literally was telling these guys like if they all died, I wouldn't care yeah. because I didn't like I can attach myself to any character. This one I was like, if you'll attach characters yeah. right right away, and I think I like that a lot, right? Because you can sympathize and empathize with them. Yeah, yeah. It's, so. um, I don't know. It's just. Uh, you said it's 10 episodes. Yeah. There are some shows, a lot of shows actually, like you look at Netflix shows, if they're, they're like Punisher, you end at 13 episodes and you go, it's nice. It yep. ended. I'm happy. I'm content. I can wait for the next season. That's what I like. Yeah. Was it worth, like, could you handle more than 10 episodes for this season? It could be done with more. I think it Or was... if for season two, uh, I want to expand on it, season two, would you want it to stay at 10 episodes or maybe expand to me 13 to 15. They already said season two was going to be about yeah. 13 episodes. Yeah. But I think season one, 10 episodes was just perfect. I think it was perfect. There's only one spot I didn't particularly like too much. And it was really short lived. Um, and I'm not going to go into it, but it's just this one part. And so I think they probably could have dragged it out another like half an episode at best. Um, but you know, like that, that I think 10 episodes, I agree with Victor, 10 episodes was probably right. Without getting too lengthy, yeah. So uh, we're gonna bring this discussion to anything a little long because we can go on. For, I can go on forever because I love. Go watch it. it. Just go watch it, please. Go watch. Somehow get access to Hulu and watch um, Marvel: The Runaways. It's a very good TV show. At least I liked it. Uh, if you've watched it, let us know if you liked it or you hated it. Um, why too? Especially if you didn't like it. Um, other than that, please like our video, subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and thank you.